this video, the SOLIDWORKS FLEX feature will be shown. This feature is used to deform complex bodies. With the body created, select the FLEX feature by going under Insert, Features, and then FLEX. In the Property Manager that appears, select the body to be deformed. When using the FLEX feature, you'll notice that there are two planes in the graphics window. These are called trim planes, and they control what region of the body gets flexed. The position of these planes can be changed either by increasing the distance under the trim plane 1 or 2 headings, or by moving them in the graphics window. If the box with the green point is selected, a point on the body can be chosen for the location of the trim planes. Regardless of which flex option is chosen, there will also be an option for the location of the triad. This triad is what determines how the flex is created. If a coordinate system was created on the model that is different from the default, that can be selected by clicking in the box right below the triad heading and choosing the coordinate system. If that option is not selected, then the location of the triad can be specified by using the three boxes right below where a new coordinate system could be selected. Note that the red arrow represents the x-axis and the blue arrow represents the z-axis. This may be different from the global coordinate system as a triad is set up so that the z-axis connects the two trim planes and the x-axis is parallel to them. The angle of the coordinate system, which will also change the orientation of the trim planes, can be changed as well. This can be done by changing the three boxes below where the orientation of the triad is set. Being able to modify the trim plane orientation allows even more unique shapes to be created. Under Flex option, the accuracy of the flex can be chosen. This option increases the accuracy of the flex feature. If you get an error while trying to create a feature, try increasing the accuracy. Note that increasing the accuracy will slow down performance due to an increase in computation of the feature. There are four different types of flexes that can be selected. The bending flex type bends a body around the red bend axis going through the triad. The angle between the two trim planes or the bend radius can be set in order to deform the body. The twisting flex type will twist the model between the two trim planes. The angle can be set which determines the number of twists. 360 degrees equals one complete twist. The triad is the location for the center of the twist. This means for one complete twist, the part of the body to the left of the triad will have rotated 180 degrees and same with the right side, which equals a full revolution when added together. If only one side is desired to be rotated, the triad can be moved to the opposite side, which will prevent that side from rotating. The taper flex type reduces the amount of material on one side of the body while increasing the amount of material on the other. The taper can be adjusted by changing the taper factor. The stretch flex type stretches the body along the direction normal to the trim planes. The stretch distance is the total increase in distance that both trim planes will move. If the triad is located in the middle of the two trim planes, the extension distance will be split evenly between the two trim planes. If the triad is moved to one side, the full distance of the extension will be applied to the opposite trim plane. If the option hard edges is unchecked, the resulting flex will appear smoother than if it is checked. I hope you found this video informative and will try using this feature in your next model.